this is Jen with Jen's Den Art and I teach women how to paint using acrylics Amen. and this is Michael my husband behind me and we are going to be painting tonight. What are we painting? Well first of all I have an 11 by 14 canvas which is totally optional. Um, something that I like to teach my clients or clients, customers, members, whatever you want to call them, is how to paint from a picture and um, how you can size your picture any size you want for your painting. So that's one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. So what I did first with my 11 by 14 canvas is I gessoed it first um, and that's totally optional on whether you want to do that or not but it is a good practice for you to um, it just kind of gives your canvas a nice um, area so the paint doesn't bleed through as, as fast and it gives your canvas a, a little bit more of a smoother area to work on so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roughly sketch this using the um, the carbon paper that I just put behind me and I'm just using an ink pen and you can see it's leaving marks on my canvas. Heather Ball said first time seeing you not sure how but I'm glad watching from Alabama. Yay! So the appropriate comment would be Thanks roll for coming tide. on. Oh. Oh, roll tide. <laughs> Go, Wait, what? Go Tigers! <laughs> yeah, we're uh, Tiger fans. We're originally from Louisiana, so uh, we just moved to Montana. We figured, what did we say, nine months ago? That's right. We moved to Montana. Y'all, should I paint the little cat? We've never painted a cat before, so this should be very interesting. So we got 48 strong on tonight. Alright. Not indicative of how many people are going to be painting, but... It's, it's awesome. So I'm just making myself some, uh, you know, areas to follow. I'm not going <laughs> to make all of it. Did she say something about the she LSU said, thing? roll tigers. Said, right <laughs> on. Right on. <laughs> so I'm not going to be making all of the lines for the, for the, um, the side of the house there, or the side of the church. I'm just going to outline... And I mean, I really didn't need to outline this, but I just wanted to show y'all how we're going to start our painting tomorrow night because this is what we're going to do tomorrow night. Now, I am going to outline our cute little kitty if I decide to paint well, Vanessa her. Babin is on first time live. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa's going to be painting our, our party at our uh, pop-up paint party with us. So I'm just outlining this little cat. She's super cute. Or it might be a he, I don't know. I've never painted a cat before, so this should be very interesting. But it's a little one, so it doesn't look too hard. All right. So I'm going to take this off. It's really not a hard painting at all, and we're going to use a lot of palette knife painting on this one. On the pop-up paint party, we used half and half palette knife and um, paintbrush. So... What I'm going to do right now is I'm just using a piece of plastic, actually, for my um, palette to put my paint on. So I'm going to use, this is called Unbleached Titanium. Basically, it's like a cream color, like a linen or kind of like an off-white. And I'm going to put that on my palette. I like to use heavy body paints. You do not have to use heavy body paints, but if you're doing some work with a palette knife, it is definitely um, something that you might want to invest in. White. This is titanium white. And I'm going to put this on my palette as well. And I'm going to start there. So I'm going to take a palette knife. And I'm going to go with just a regular old <laughs> palette knife here. A nail. Kendra. Got some people sprinkling. Yay! Sprinkle, That's sprinkle. Right. That's right. All right. So all I'm doing is kind of almost like icing a cake. How many of you have used a palette knife before? 
or how many of you have never used a palette knife. So say in the comments, yes, you have used a palette knife, or no, you have not used a palette knife. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yay. Yeah. Sprinkle. Sprinkle the love. Sprinkle the love. So yes, you have used a palette knife, and no, you have not used a palette knife. Anybody yes. saying anything? Yes, Kendra has used, Julia has used, Yes. Wilson Good. has used, Good. Uh, Peggy has used. Sounds like you're saying they've used, like used, um, I'm used. sorry, Diana, <laughs> Diana has used a palette knife, so has Melinda, uh, Deb has as well, Cheryl, and Kathy's learning. Vanessa Good. Template Babin says, I've never used a palette knife before. Okay. My nail has Tammy no, not for painting. Excellent answer, okay. Tammy. <laughs> a palette knife, you know, for sheet for sheet rock. Anyway. Gotcha. Lynn, yes. Anne has attempted to use a palette knife. Okay. Well, it's one of my favorite tools. Um, but most of my paintings have mostly um paintbrush work and then almost every one of my paintings I will have palette knife use in it just not as much as a paintbrush Phyllis has not sometimes every once in a while in our um in our tribe I have a membership where we do um anywhere from four to six paintings a month every once in a while we'll do the entire painting in um with a palette knife so it's a lot of fun to teach doing that okay so what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out a layer of, like a thin layer, almost like you're putting mayonnaise on a piece of bread or mm. butter on a piece of bread. I'm hungry, by the way. <laughs> and I'm laying the, the, um, the paint in the same direction as the boards on the side of the church. Because you see, can you see the, um, the texture that it's actually putting on the, board, on the, um, the canvas? I hope you can see that. So that's my goal here. Okay, and I'm just gonna start with the outside layer like this. And by outside, I mean I'm not I'm not gonna do anything with the um, with the window yet. So are you tell them how hard to press, or do they know that? I don't. Know well, that. it's it's kind of like I said, it's just like buttering a piece of bread. I put a or lot putting, of butter on my bread. Putting mayonnaise on a piece of bread. I you put just a lot of mayonnaise on my bread. You can tell when you start doing it how hard you don't have to press hard at all is basically what Well Jenny I think has you're not, doing. but she wants to try. Yeah, it's so much fun. And once you start doing it and you see what you can do with it, it's just so much fun. And Joan has, but then she put oh boy. Oh boy. Like but oh boy. <laughs> like man, it's difficult. All right, so I started with white, and now I'm going into the cream, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just not going to put it everywhere. I'm just going to put it some places, and the reason why I'm using the cream is because the side of our church is old and mildewy looking, and so we're making it look old and mildewy, and we're hardly pressing. Like, okay, let me show you what I'm putting. I'm putting very little on my palette knife and I still have some of the white and then I'm just coming up here and I'm hardly pressing at all you see how it's making those Can you see do you that? use the heavy paint just for palette knife work or the whole painting I like heavy paint for the whole painting so you use the palette knife for the whole painting regardless no. I, I use um, I use heavy body paint for the whole painting, whether I'm using a oh. palette knife or a paintbrush. Well, you, you paid attention, and I did not, to the question. There you go, girl. Yeah. Good job. Um, although, Nick. don't get me wrong now, I have a lot of this craft paint. We're going to use that, too. My favorite is folk art because it's not runny, but it's not, it's, it's a more... I guess it's not as expensive as your heavy body paint, but it still gives you that um, thicker texture. It's kind of like an in-between type of a paint. 
and um, it's not as expensive right as the heavy body stuff. So I go that route a lot when I am painting. Okay, Ooh. what's wrong? Susan Norick Nor said, is there a way to thicken acrylic paint? Yes, the, the cheaper stuff, yes. There's this stuff here. Um, I use this. It's called um, from Liquitex. It's called thickening gel, and you, you have to. Use, I've been having this stuff forever. You have to use very, very little of it, and um, it's like a. It's kind of like a sour cream. It's and it's actually kind of clear. It looks like it's white in here, but it's actually kind of clear. And you take your paint, and you take very little, like. I'm talking like if you have like a little glob of paint, you take like maybe like that much and you just mix and mix and mix and mix and you'll see it'll make the, um, it'll make the texture of the paint. It'll kind of be a little globby at first, but if you keep on mixing it and mixing it, it'll get smoother and then mm -hmm. it's easier to work with. Okay. She says she loves that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Start by taking my paintbrush and taking a lot of white paint and I'm going to start making the outline for my window. And I do not have to follow in the lines. Like I said, I'm very, very loose with my painting. So we do not worry about following in, our, in the lines. <laughs> Everybody got a comment. What? That cat's looking for the mice. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. This looks like an old abandoned church, doesn't and, and it? And Wilson, <laughs> Wilson said, the cat's looking for the church mouse. <laughs> I remember old pastors used to say, y'all quiet as church mice. Anyway, back in the day. So I'm so super excited for the next four days. It's going to be so much it's fun. It's going to be a good time. And Ginger has given me official room to make jokes and be silly. So, I'm just saying. Right? <laughs> yeah, but we have to pray too and we have to show love and all of that fun stuff as well. So, right. it's going to be, a, we're going to have a variety of things going on. Oh, and I almost forgot. <gasps> Y'all, we have prizes. We have door prizes for every night we go live. And I'm going to show y'all what our door prizes are. I haven't decided what night is what, but you have to be live to be able to um, get a door prize. And you have to be live every night or just that night? Just that night. Okay. So, one, so let me put some black on my palette. Black is a really, really powerful color, so you really you don't need a lot of black at all. And I'm just going to use the same exact paintbrush because, like I told you, I like to show you how you can almost paint a whole painting with just, like, one or two paintbrushes. So, we're going to go in with... <laughs> Ginger posted, I know my stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to just start outlining all of this. Yeah, he knows his stuff. I have to teach him. No, not really. <laughs> He is my business partner, although he does have a full-time job as a, a licensed therapist at the local VA hospital. At the local VA hospital. Um, he, um, he helps me with my business, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. And, it, and it's obviously it's free of charge, so there's no, what? no payments for... No. Just joking. <laughs> I wash his clothes and I cook up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's not go there. So Wilson says, I'll be at a different kind of party tomorrow night. My final send off a party for my beloved Uncle Louie. His final wish I want a party, not a funeral lunch. Wow. Aww. Wow, that's awesome, Wilson. Well, I'm so sorry you lost your uncle, but that's good that he said that. Julia Brown says the fellowship here is super, especially in these times. I agree, Julia, and just like what Wilson mm -hmm. said, 
about the final wish for her uncle. So this is what makes it a, a wonderful time. Is uh, And I say a wonderful time not to make light of what's going on, but I look at everything that's going on in just a little different light. I look at everything that's going on as a possible means for those who don't know or have a relationship with God to be drawn closer to Him. And so, uh, first of all, thank you for sharing, Wilson. And Linda says her daughter works at a local VA. Bless all of you. Thank you. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, Rexanne said, I never got my cup, cup from the cow pop-up. Oh, Rexanne? Uh, I hope that that whole experience that you go through, that you, you, you are able to handle it uh, in a way that, that brings honor not only to your uncle, to you, and to God. And so I wish you the very best in that experience for you. Yes. We both do. So Andrea Fontenot said, Them days when the guard come to my heart hometown in Iowa, Louisiana, Mike and Jimmy. Huh. I'll be dang. Do what? I didn't understand that. It's a uh, someone that I had met when I was in Iowa, Louisiana. You? Yeah. Uh, for hurricane duty. Oh. Oh, that's cool. And y'all yeah. are connecting right now? We are. That's cool. Okay, so I'm just trying Tina to... Tina did not get... Tina Bro didn't get her shelf sitter from the cow pop-up party. Well, let me write that down. So, anyone that's on tonight, <laughs> do not use this Whatever. as a, an indicative uh, statement that we do not follow through on our... Alright, so... I Tammy sent Davis. her the wrong thing is what I did. I sent nice. her something and she was like, I think you sent me the wrong thing. I was like, oh yeah, sorry. So, Tammy Meadows says, can you please tell me again how to sign up for the text messages? Tell me, Jen, and I'll type it in there. For, um, for which one? For the tribe, for the, um, the non-tribe members, or for the pop-up paint party? Because I so have Tammy all three. So, Tammy is a top fan, so she's a tribe member. Tribe member? Yeah. Okay, so it's, um, go to your text messages and uh -huh. type in... Start a new a text message. Nothing to do with Facebook. It just has to do Start with your with your phone. Text your text. You're texting on your on phone, your cell phone. Phone. Got it. Type in like where you put the phone number. You're gonna type three one nine nine six. Three one nine nine six. No, where you put the text message. No. Oh, where you put the person's name. The phone name. number. The phone okay. number that you are sending it to is 31996. Okay. And the message, like if you were texting someone and you wanted to say something to them and you wanted to say hello or anything like that, in that area, in that box, you type in Jen's Den Tribe, one word. G-I-N-S-D-E-N-T-R-I-B-E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you look at me like that, you said Jen's Den Tribe one word, and I was like, that don't even make sense. <laughs> but then you spelled Jen's Den Tribe. I was like, all right, okay, Jen's Den Tribe one word. Jen's Den Tribe one word. No, don't type the one word part. I was just joking. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm going in to this window, and I am using the same paintbrush. And I'm making kind of like a gray. And I'm making a gray by using white and black. And I'm just mixing them together. And I'm just going to start doing some gray here. What y'all laughing at? Well, first of all, I want to say, Rexanne, I got you. Uh, Andre Fontenot said, thank you for your service. Awesome. Uh, Wilson said her uncle was like a father to us. Aww. When her dad passed away, he was like a father to mm. all of them for six of them. Oh, wow. wow. Belanda joined. Rexanne's laughing at you. At me? No, I'm just joking at us. <laughs> <laughs> and I just put my finger in my ear right while on camera, so I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't know if that went over well. That's what you're going to get if you join Jen's Den Tribe. You're going to get... Let's put in our... <laughs> so. All right, so I'm just, I keep on looking back at my reference photo to make sure that I'm using like the right colors and just oh, and trying to get a little bit of that 
oldness and so I'm mixing um, gray I'm mixing black and white and I'm just coming down the sides here look at our little cat <laughs> what were you gonna say the reason why Tina bro didn't uh, get the uh, the message and all that stuff she was outside eating boiled crabs oh goodness gracious mm -hmm. well just rub it in will you I understand and Williams from Mississippi. We got a lot of people from Mississippi on tonight. Really? Mississippi, Alabama, Nebraska, California, Pennsylvania, Iowa. Uh, did I say Louisiana? Louisiana. Uh, yeah. New York. We're gonna go back to Louisiana pretty soon. We're gonna have to have a meet up with all of our people. Cause their family's still there, so we need to go see some peeps. Actually, my son's there right now visiting with his dad and his brother. And he was eating crawfish in Bartleville last Minnesota. night. Minnesota. 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 Yeah, he sent us a picture Virginia, of him. West Virginia. Eating Sorry. crawfish. That's okay. West Virginia. That's yeah. a beautiful and area, too. Yeah. Okay, so. Tennessee. I'm, Tennessee. Yeah. So if anyone's watching the comments right now, if you're not a part of the pop-up paint party and you're not a part of Jen's Den tribe members, what's going on right now is what goes on every tribe member experience that we have. And it's going to go on for the four days that we're doing the pop-up paint party. People giving their shoulders, giving their emotions to those that are in pain or hurting to let them know that we're here for you. And so... You may think it's not much to be here for others just by texting, but man, that goes a long way to show some emotional love like that. Mm -hmm. So, sorry about that, Jen. No, that's fine. And we go live in the in the public group. And not not public, I'm sorry. In the tribe, we go live once a week. But I also do once a week a, a pre-recorded video tutorial. So you get six to eight paintings, and I say six to eight because four of them are pre-recorded and edited that are uploaded to the website where you have, you have complete access to over 30 video tutorials that are already there. And then once a week we go live. Sometimes it's to paint an entire painting Sometimes it's just to paint like the beginning stages of one of my recorded paintings. And sometimes it's to paint a technique video, like maybe how to make clouds. That one went really well, didn't it? <laughs> Wilson, I got something for you. I'm, I'm going to send you a, a little quote here. I want to make sure I got it right though before I send it. All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just, I'm still kind of making my background layers to my window because, you know, the window is one of the main parts of this painting. So I'm just kind of passing some grays, some browns, and some whites over all of this. And then I'm going to come with a little bit of a darker brown as well. And then we're going to pick up the palette knife. That's where the fun begins. But right now we're just kind of doing some background layers. And notice how I am not staying in the lines and I'm not making this painting perfect because that is my style. And I will show mm. you how to be loose and free in your process. So I'm picking up a burnt umber. Burnt umber is like a really chocolatey brown. And I'm going to incorporate some of that dark brown color in my painting. What'd you say, mm, for, boo? Susan Norwicky. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a tough day for her. Five-year anniversary when she lost her dad. Aww. In a car accident of death. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, I'm coming back with some brown. Mm. And I'm just... I'm not pressing hard at all because I want this brown layer to kind of be on top of the other layers. So I'm putting a lot of paint on my brush and I'm just kind of framing. 
Baby that, looks beautiful, by the way. Thank you. That old brown color coming through. It's got a dog outside of it. So if you paint with me, you learn how to paint using a lot of layers. And honestly, truthfully, you can't make a painting look good without the layers. If you want a painting to be on the um, on the more creative, fine art side, you have to take your time with the painting, and you can't just slap a bunch of painting on a canvas in 45 minutes and be done. You have to take your time. And most of my videos allow you the opportunity to stop and start as much as you want. And most of the videos take anywhere from two to four hours to paint the painting. So that is our dog outside that wants to come inside. So don't, it's okay. It's not a bear. <laughs> well, he's scratching on the window because Mimi is in the window antagonizing him. Oh, I was wondering what was going on. And then Charlie's growling at the doll. It's okay, Charlie. Okay, it's okay. You can let him in if you want. Oh. Or you don't want to. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's got a little pop of girl. I feel so bad for her, though. Listen to she her. She needs to get tired so we can sleep tonight. <laughs> okay. Now... I'm going to start doing a little bit more, um, a little bit more detail is going to start happening. Is anybody asking any questions or anything? Um, no, everybody still was giving some love to everyone else. That's kind oh, of okay. And I'm yeah, taking I love, photos out of Charlie. I love the way y'all start talking to each other on the, um, okay, I got it, I got it. I'm grabbing. on the lives. That is so awesome. To me, that's priceless because so many of our tribe members have made really, really good friends through that's right. all of this. Okay, so I'm just playing around with some browns, clean my paintbrush off, and now I'm going to start coming back with some more details. There you go. Uh, what type of brush are you using? This is just a round brush. Um, it's it's called Da Vinci. Uh, da Vinci. It's a, I use synthetic brushes. And um, this is a number 10 Da Vinci. If it's Da Vinci, then that probably means I got it from um, Blick.com. Blickart.com online. I think they sell Da Vinci brand. It's one of my favorite brushes. So it's probably about a quarter of an inch round. And it has a pointed tip. So I use this for a lot, a lot of my paintings. And I like long, long stems or whatever you call it. Handles, long handles. All right, so let's pick up a palette knife. All right, you can use the same one we were using. Um, it's kind of sharp, so I'm going with one a little longer because I'm going to start coming back and I'm going to start making my, um, like the, the seams of the boards. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick up some black on the tip, just on the tip of my, um, palette knife and it, just a little bit of white to kind of make it like a grayish. And those boards are going to get, all I'm doing is I'm just pressing and just tapping one time. And I do not need the boards to be connected all the way across. You're just trying to get the visual of boards going across. So they don't need to be a complete line. They can just be like one little piece of a line. Oh, she's, both wanting, outside. she's wanting to come in. They both want to come yeah. in. Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
I don't even really care if they match up. I mean, I know they should in real life, but, you know, this isn't real life. So. Oh, my God, I go let those girls in. Yeah, please do. Oh. They're crying. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. And what you hear me doing, I'll show you. Let me show you my palette if you can see it. I'm just taking the edge of the palette knife. And now I'm going to go a little bit in the dark brown as well. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. This is actually a piece of plastic, if you were wondering. I'm not on my desk. So I'm going to go back. Can y'all see the painting? Yeah, you can see the painting. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull down just a little, little bit in some of these areas because I want it to kind of look like a shadow. I need to get my paint to be a little looser. So I just dipped my palette knife in my water and I'm adding some water to my paint. So you can see that. Let me go down a little bit more. Okay, so I made my paint a lot looser because it was getting dry on me. You know how fast acrylics dry. And I'm just pulling down just a little bit. I added a little bit of that tan in there too. Go get some water. Ah, Carson, Carson, Carson. We have a baby dog that's like four months old. She's a, a German short-haired pointer. Actually, she's our son, so we're babysitting. And man, she's into everything, everything. So we have to watch her like a two-year-old because she's teething so much. Okay, so you see how cool that looks? I'm gonna show it to you close up. So you can see how it made it look old. All right, very nice. Uh, I'm reading your comment, Tina. The only thing I can suggest that you do is you take a ruler like this and you kind of give yourself a guide first before, even if you have to like lay it on there, you give yourself a guide so you can see better. Um, if, you, if you wanted to, no, I wouldn't do that. I was gonna say you can draw your lines out first, but I don't, I don't know if that would work. But I would definitely give myself a longer guide like this, like get something that's long like this, so that you would have a guide and just go like right above it. Because if you have something that's long and it gives you like the whole picture, it helps you to be a little more horizontal. I don't know, that's a hard one. Because that just, I guess that just comes with practice. Remember, I was a geometry teacher for years and I had to draw all of those angles and triangles and. <laughs> all of those circles and everything. So I got really good at drawing, you know, like figures. <laughs> all right. So let's see what else. Roxanne says, love it. And do you recommend a metal palette knife to a plastic? It doesn't matter. I actually have some plastic ones and I really like them. They're more flexible. Um, the only thing I see with a plastic one that's different from a metal one is the the thickness of them. A metal one is really, really, really thin, like paper thin, and a plastic one is a little bit thicker. So I like using the metal because they're thinner, like they're like almost razor blade thin. And um, that's what I've seen with the difference between the plastic and the, um, the metal. But yeah, you can get either. I think plastic is a lot cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. Although I found a set of um, 
I don't know if this was just like a random thing, but I found a set on Amazon for like $1.99 for like five of them. And so I bought it, even though I didn't need any. I just bought it because you just never know. So my, my favorite palette knives, or if you paint with me, we use this one a lot come um, fall time because I paint, I use these for, um, for the pumpkins and then I use these to make cotton and I use these to make magnolias. I really like this one. And then just a regular palette knife like this. That's really all you need. I don't use, I have a ton of them, but I usually just go back to these and like different lengths, you know, just some that are really long and some that are shorter. That's the main ones that I use. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a palette knife and now I'm gonna start making some details to go around my window. So, I'm looking at my photo. That's okay. I'm looking at my photo and I'm gonna take some of the white now. And I'm gonna put it on the edge of my palette knife. And I'm going to start, I just touch. That's all I'm doing is touching. So sorry about missing the questions. Uh, Wilson says she feels like she has more control of the uh, metal palette knife. We've answered most and of those. And Jenny Bentley said, how do I join your tribe? So yes. you can send that? You can send her the link. Okay, yes. so Jenny, this is for you. And um, It's $29 a month, by the way, for the tribe. Now, the pop-up paint party is a $17 one-time payment. How do I, uh, do you recommend a metal palette knife or a plastic palette knife? We've already talked about all that. What was the answer? Um, <laughs> it's totally up to you. And I end up using the metal more because it's a, it has a thinner surface on the edge. Ah. So, I'm you just. You answered about the slanted or crooked? Yeah, Tina having trouble getting. And what's the website to join the tribe? Um, sales dash four. It's the jensenart.com backslash sales dash four. Jensenart.com backslash sales dash four. All right. These windows are dirty. So I'm making them look a little dirty by taking my palette knife. I moved the camera down a little bit so they can't see your face anymore, baby. I know. I actually stuck my head between, I mean, below and... Because I want, them to, I want them to be able to see my, my palette right here that I'm doing. That's right. So, I'm using that. All I have that I've used so far on this painting is um, tan, white, dark brown, black. That's it. Deb said it's looking good. Kathy said I love it. I now said awesome as usual. Thank you. What? Y'all are so sweet. Kim said, hey, Sandra Piper. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what Kim is doing. Kim's got some friends that she uh, she probably shared and they're coming on watching. Roxanne said, Jen, are you doing this for a picture? Yes, yes. I am. I am, I am. Kim did sprinkle the love, though. So, Jenny said, do you have a list of general supplies needed for either Tribe or the $17 paint party? So, Jenny, yes. if you join the pop-up paint party, the the supply list is going to be given to you. And so, I would suggest that if you're going to do that, man, join tonight because the pop-up paint party is tomorrow. Uh, as far as the Tribe in general, uh, once again, if you join the Tribe, you're going to have access to... Not only Jen's paint supplies, but the color wheel, or is that yeah. still never let me, um, produced? No, let me explain to her. Okay. Um, once you join, you get some like start here videos oh. that um, that I do like a. I have some videos on you know here's the supplies that I use, and I would suggest you use, um, and I give you ideas on keeping it cheap and if you have the money to go more expensive you can what's a bird say cheap chirp cheap no a bird that's a says chick, that's chirp that's a little chicken a little chicken goes cheap 
Debbie Bargo said, hello from Mississippi and love watching you paint. Thank you, Debbie. Is it Debbie? Is that what you said? Uh, no, no, please forgive me, Miss Benton. Nayuka said, Let done. Me see. Done, I'm going to hear the tips on how to use a palette knife. Okay. Um, Fletcher wait. says, Nyerka. Nair okay. Tell us if we're pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, I like that name. Fletcher says, hello, tuned in late, done with the big dinner with our son from Vegas. Viva. Viva. And now I'm watching Jen's painting for relaxation. Lucky Yay. Me. Fletcher. Good. About the supplies? I don't know, but I'll answer you again, Jenny. Um, okay, good. So you get a video. Hey. Hey. Explaining all of the, the things that I think you need to start off, and then um, you can go from there. And the video is like 15 or 20 minutes. And then I also have videos on um, like teaching you how to, um, it's a monthly thing. And uh, so if you wanted, I would even suggest you do this. You can do the pop up paint party with us, and then if you decide that you want to join the monthly group, you could do that afterwards. So, do y'all hear that noise? That's the cat, the cat and the dog. We have, <laughs> we have three dogs. One dog doesn't want to have anything to do with anyone except Michael. And then the other two dogs and the cat just like play and run around all the time. So most of the time we leave them outside and we let them play around and they come in at night, but yeah. Two of the dogs are for our son, but he is home in Louisiana. Well, not home, he lives in our basement, but he is visiting his other family members in Louisiana for a few weeks. So we are babysitting. And so when we try to come on live here, we try to leave them outside because they're so crazy. But sometimes it just, it gets, it gets crazy. I don't know if y'all can hear all the noise happening upstairs. <laughs> Sprinkle the love. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. I watch for the added what? Oh, the entertainment factor. Wilson said she watches for the added entertainment factor. Well, I can start singing. Oh, look, Michael got his supper. Oh, no. <laughs> Is no, that your camera, snack? The camera's not on me, so it's all good. <laughs> When did you move the camera back on me? Uh, just a few minutes ago. God. So I am having a lot of fun with my palette knife painting this, and I am I'm nervous about painting my cat, so I keep on talking about other things. And I'm thinking about going to the cat because I don't want to mess Let's it up. Let's see what we got here. I agree with Wilson. The added entertainment. Tina said, I agree. <laughs> right on. Yes, Michael is a, Michael's a trip, I know. Okay, I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. Same paintbrush. So, so far, all we really needed was two things. We need a palette knife and a, a round paintbrush. That's all we've used, and very little paint. Leah Webb just got here. Hey, Leah. Thanks for coming on. And look, make... Okay, so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm wetting my paintbrush and I'm using kind of like a brownish, grayish tinted color. And I'm trying to make these windows look like kind of like old dirt and foggy, like dirty and foggy. So I'm adding, instead of just a solid black, I'm adding kind of like a, a you hear that? A little bit of a brown. Yeah, I had to I had to explain to them and apologize for all of the noise from upstairs. It's almost like I'm dry brushing. Because some of these windows are they look like they have like a bunch of dust on them. And so I'm trying to make them look like that. And I'm gonna show y'all close up what I'm doing. Wilson says she loves it when I get to look. No, I nail said that. I nail. <laughs> I nail. <laughs> I expected that from Wilson. Wilson, nope. see, Wilson he has it. not gotten the look tonight. How y'all like that? He's being good tonight. 
Leah said, I just did, and the picture is wonderful. And Diana Tillery says, do you have a template for the window that we can use? Absolutely. I can make you one. Right on. Yes. Good question, yes. Diana. I nail. Okay. Okay, so I'm cleaning my paintbrush off, and I think I'm going to dive in to the little old mm. cat. And the cat is red and white. So I'm going to use... Is that a tabby? Burnt... What they call a tabby? I don't know. I'm going to use... Yellow um... white? No, it's a red cat. It's got red hair. That's it almost looks like a fox. That's a tiger. It's not a, it's not a cat. No, a tiger would have stripes, don't you think? First of all, Wilson says, this is looking beautiful, Jen. And then Wilson said, the night's not over yet. <laughs> And then Donna said... For him to get in trouble? And then Donna said the night's not over yet. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. He didn't uh, even ask if I wanted any of his snack that he has that he's eaten. He didn't even ask me if I wanted any. I'm just saying. Do you want any snack? <laughs> no, I don't want any. Okay, where is my said I haven't gotten a look because I've been gone. <laughs> My sisters. <laughs> Gay's just joined in. Hey, Gay. All right, so I have Maybe posted this... it can't be red. Why not? A red cat in a church? I don't know. It's a tabby cat. It's got to be gold and white or yellow and white. Okay, so we're out. I'm going to do just a little bit of this. I've been having this paint forever. Well, Beverly said it's I hot. did. So we're going with. A little bit of red. I'm going to show y'all the actual, like the real picture in just a minute that I'm following. I hope they're not chasing a cat. See when it gets quiet like that? They're either at a standoff or they got the cat. She's kind of, I guess, maybe more of an orange cat. Is that maybe what I should have said? She's yes, orange. Yes, a tabby. Yeah. So let me go a little bit more on the orange side. So I'm grabbing a um, Canyon Orange. It's just a Deco Art Craft Paint. And Vicky just joined in. She said, I'm running late. That's all right, Vicky. I'm glad you came on, though. We are having a blast here tonight, and I am painting a beautiful church window with a tabby cat sitting on the windowsill. Yeah, so we're going to go a little bit yes, more tabby. on the orange Thank side. Thank you, Ginger. Ginger post. Awesome. A little bit more <laughs> on the orange side. said, help. I tried to sprinkle and now I'm hosting a watch party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Rexy. Get out of Facebook. Just get out. Oh. That's okay. You can have the watch party. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. Y'all are just too much. Denise says, I love this painting. Just got home and on. Home and on. That's not like awesome. I got cold. Home and on. Home on. On. Home and on. <laughs> okay okay um oh my goodness i don't know if y'all can hear what's going on but that dog is running around like crazy let me go a little bit further down with the orange you sure she doesn't want to go outside again <laughs> all right so We are going to, I need this brush a little bit more. Mary says, how do I sprinkle? Share. You hit the share button. I'm just not, we're just not supposed to say share. For some reason, Facebook doesn't like that word. That's what I've been told by other people. Um, so that's why we say sprinkle the love. It's just a common thing for Facebook livers to do that. But you think they would catch on to the sprinkle the love part right and then they would start i don't know facebook just 
has so much control over us that we have to like follow their rules. All right, I'm adding a little bit of gray. Any questions or anything? No, it's eerie, eerily quiet. That's because I'm, I told him I was nervous about painting this cat. No, I was talking about the dogs. Oh. Okay. Oh, Denise said, Jen, you are an awesome lady. Aw. And then so nice, Jane Denise. said, this Thank is looking you. great. She was listening from the garden, but seeing it now, it's fun. So she was listening, uh -huh. and when she sees it, it's fun. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. Then someone gave me two hearts for my pepperoni bites. <laughs> That's awesome. And did you tell Mary how to sprinkle? Just go to the bottom right, and there should be a, a place where you can touch that says share. And you just share it to your to your feed. Okay, I'm going to try to make some little eyes. <laughs> I'm using a liner brush, and I'm using black. And then a little bit of the nose. It might look like a fox by the time I'm I'm finished with it, but I know so the cat is so small you need to get close up. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all when I'm done. Let's see. I'm gonna need to practice cats too. Can I ask a question? Uh huh. Are you gonna get upset at me later for eating while we're on doing this thing? Absolutely not. Are you just saying that because people are listening? No. Okay. Sixty-six people on tonight right now, Jim. Yay! Amy and remember, I just need to figure out the the head is too um too big. So Jane gonna... says she can't wait to start the pop up. I know it's going to be so much. Fun. Teresa sprinkled. Lisa sprinkled. There's a lot of people sprinkling. Yeah. Shared. I mean sprinkled. Yeah. Allison Silva says it looks amazing. Peggy said thanks. Okay, Peggy. She'll show that thickening stuff later if you, unless you know what that is. It's like in a jar. Okay, let me go back with a little bit of black and make her head's too big. So I'm going to close her in a little bit. I'm just adding some oh, black around. Mary sprinkled. Thank you, Mary. Yep. And Wilson's supposed to be baking, but it's hard to watch him bake. But what you baking? That's what I put. Kendra said, love how it all comes together. Kendra, I always get worried because when she starts out, I'm like, there's no way it's going to be. And I'm an impromptu way. painter. Like, oh I, don't, I don't practice my paintings. I just come on here live and I just paint. And so crazy. sometimes they come out great, and sometimes I'm like, oops. I messed up on this <laughs> so um yeah that's that's the fun about that's what I, I like to do that though I like to come on impromptu like that and just try to challenge myself what did Rexanne say oh my goodness so embarrassed so so sorry What's wrong about with what about hosting the watch up party oh my oh, no that's actually good <clears throat> that's fun Maybe. I've done a watch party before. What did she do? Wilson. What'd she do? She's baking her famous butter cake. Oh, oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. My two favorite things to eat, butter and cake. Oh. You like to eat everything. Though. What does that mean? What are you talking about? I'm just saying. Every time I fix something, he's like, this is the best thing you've ever made. <laughs> Then he says, this is the best meal I've ever had. <laughs> Kendra said, that's what I love about you. You are real. <laughs> oh, and Tina Bro about said. About you? No, about you. Tina um, Bro says, I will miss all of you in the pop-up party, but I know y'all have an awesome time with Jen and Michael. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tina, you got to work late. I forgot at the, uh, at the vet hospital. Yeah. Well, Tina, thank you for doing that work, because that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that animals. is. Okay, you see how long it takes for me to paint this little cat? Excuse me. But she's actually starting to look a little bit more like a cat. She looks like she's sad, though. 
Her little face. Laura Russell has a great comment. My high school art teacher used to say, the best painters know how to cover their mistakes. That has stuck with her forever, she said. Yep. Because look, I paint on the fly. And if it doesn't, doesn't come out, then I just try again. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna be done with um with her. Now the pop-up paint party, I have painted the painting already. So it's gonna be the second time that I paint the painting for the pop-up paint party. I have to make sure that I'm like, you know, on point for that. Because uh, that's a you know, it's a pretty big party. We have a hundred and twenty so far. I'm so excited. What? I know. It's gonna be so much fun. Peggy Peterson so, said, watched your paint clouds the other day and totally looked at the clouds today in a completely different way. Uh, wow, Peggy. Did you see the one problem. I messed up on? <laughs> 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 that was that that was one of my videos. I was like, I'm not posting this, but I did. It doesn't matter. Mama Ray wants to see the cat close up. I'm gonna show y'all my little fox-like cat that I have painted here and see what y'all think. I have to definitely practice cats. That was my first attempt at one. So I think I, I have too much um I have too much paint on her eyes and her nose. Like the black. On the cat? Yeah. So I have to go back and, and like make it more um Okay, I'm back. Make it more look, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna take you down for just a minute. I'm gonna show y'all the picture that I'm using to do this painting. I'm out of breath. Can y'all see it? So that's the picture that I'm using. And you can see how some of the windows are like old and Tina Rowe loves rusted. It. And look at how cute the little cat is. Laura but gave you clapping. My cat's not that cute. Okay, so about. a couple of other things that I might do to make it a little more rustic, but my I'm not going to put any more paint on my palette. My paint's almost dried up. No. Um, it's okay. I'm sorry. Just a few little areas of like even more rustic um, sides of the the church. You know, all I'm doing is dragging. I'm doing a little bit of gray on my palette knife. And I'm just dragging the um, the palette knife over some areas so that it doesn't look quite as perfect, you know? Like all my lines are like perfectly drawn and I, I don't want it to look like that, so. <coughs> Tina says a foxy cat in a church window. A foxy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Anel says it's free for tribe members, but you do have to ask to join the, the Pup Michael. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm going like to show audio. it one more time so you can see this is um, just a cute little church window painting that we did. Minutes, Jen to ask questions. Oh, we all. Okay. 